so you're thinking about how your home gets hot water, or maybe how it stays actually warm in winter. And you keep hearing about boilers and water heaters. They both heat water, sure, but that's where the similarities stop. They serve different purposes, and choosing between them means understanding those differences. Let's get into it. No jargon, just clear essentials. Primary function. Here's what matters first. A boiler and a water heater have jobs that overlap less than most people realize. A boiler's chief job is to heat water or create steam, which is then pushed through pipes to warm your home, for example, via radiators, underfloor heating, or even to run baseboard heaters. If your house feels cozy all winter because hot water or steam is coursing through pipes, thank a boiler. Some models even double as providers of hot water for your taps, but their heart still lies in room heating. A water heater, on the other hand, exists purely for domestic hot water. Showers, dishwashing, laundry, sinks. That's it. It doesn't care about keeping your living room toasty. It just wants to make your morning shower pleasant. Water use. Let me explain the nuance here. In a standard boiler system, water is typically heated then circulated in a closed loop. That means the same water just keeps cycling between your boiler and your radiators, or underfloor system, unless you specifically have a combi boiler that also gives you tap water on demand. Most water heaters store water in a tank or heat it as it flows through, tankless systems. When you open a tap, fresh, usually cold water enters, gets heated, and then is used up and replaced. They're not recycling it. Energy source. You've got options with both. Boilers traditionally run on natural gas, oil, propane, or electricity, and older models may even use coal, but that's rare now. Water heaters match them in variety, electric, gas, propane, solar. If you're off the grid or keen on sustainability, both systems can adapt, but solar is more common with water heaters, especially in sunny climates. Energy efficiency. This is a fun one because the right answer depends on your needs. Boilers, especially modern condensing models, can be extremely efficient at heating a whole house, especially large spaces, since they provide both hot water and central heating. But for a smaller home or a place with mild winters, a water heater is usually more energy efficient since it isn't required to send heated water through a whole pipe network. Tankless water heaters have especially high efficiency, heating water only as it's needed. Installation cost. Bottom line, boilers are more expensive to install. The system is more complex, with piping, controls, pumps, radiators, and sometimes venting for steam, not to mention the boiler itself. Installation costs usually start around $3,500 and can go much higher, especially with big, old, or multi-story homes. Water heaters are more affordable. Most families spend between $1,000-$3,500 installed. Tankless models are pricier up front, but often cheaper over time thanks to better efficiency and lower operating costs. Hot water temperature. Here's a clear difference. Boilers are built to heat water to higher temperatures, often 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit, enough for steam or hot water heating, far too hot for your hands. Water heaters, by contrast, are designed for human-safe hot water, usually around 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough for a bath, but not so hot that you risk burns if you get a little careless at the tap. Maintenance. Let's be honest, neither are set and forget. Boilers usually demand annual inspections, especially for safety, carbon monoxide is no joke. Regular cleaning of burners, vents, and flues plus periodic flushing to keep water quality and efficiency high. Water heaters are simpler but not maintenance-free. Tank models need draining every year or so to get rid of sediment, and valves and pipes can leak or clog. Tankless units require descaling if your water is hard, though not as often as a whole boiler flush. Lifespan. Comparing lifespans, both systems do pretty well. Most boilers and water heaters last about 10 to 15 years if treated kindly. Tankless water heaters can stretch that to 20, sometimes more. You'll start seeing decreases in efficiency 
and maybe leaks or odd noises toward the end of the road, but regular maintenance can add years to both. Home size suitability. This is where the horses for courses cliche actually means something. If your home is large or you live someplace that gets real winter, a boiler is hard to beat for comfort and even heating. Big radiators or floor heating powered by a good boiler just feel different from dusty forced air vents. For average homes, especially in warmer areas or apartments, a water heater does the trick. If your only concern is hot water at the tap, anything more is overkill. Space and placement. Here's one often overlooked factor, space. Boilers, especially older or conventional models, can take up significant real estate in your basement or a dedicated utility room, needing pipework and possibly a separate hot water tank. Some modern, wall-mounted combi boilers, however, are a win if you're short on floor space. Traditional tank water heaters have a big footprint too because of their storage cylinders, but tankless water heaters and combi boilers are both more compact. So if you're living small or remodeling in a city apartment, this decision changes the game. Noise and disturbance. Boilers, especially older ones, can gurgle, bang, or make bubbling sounds as air gets trapped in pipes or as the system cycles at the start of cold weather. Water heaters, on the other hand, are generally quieter, though sediment can cause a low rumble if neglected. If silence matters, tankless water heaters are almost ghost-like while running. Main drawbacks. Boilers are more costly up front, require dedicated installation space, and come with longer heat up times. They also don't provide air conditioning, so you need a separate cooling system in summer. Water heaters, while cheaper and simpler, are limited to just heating water, and storage tank models lose heat through standby loss, affecting efficiency over time. Tankless water heaters struggle to supply large simultaneous demands in bigger homes or cold climates, so sizing and number of units can be an issue. Other notes. A few oddball details. Modern combination boilers, combi boilers, can heat your home and provide tap hot water, skipping the need for a separate water heater. That's particularly attractive in Europe, where space is at a premium. Boilers can also be a godsend for allergy sufferers, since they don't blow dust around like forced air systems. Water heaters, though ubiquitous and simple, remain the standard in North America for a reason. They're reliable, warranty-friendly, and sized for most families' needs. So what's the takeaway? If you need to both heat your house and get plenty of hot water, and especially if you have a big space or live somewhere frigid, a boiler is a solid investment. Yes, it costs more at the start, but the comfort is hard to match. On the other hand, if your focus is showers, dishes, and laundry, go with a water heater. You'll spend less, use less energy, and simplify your home's plumbing in the process. Boilers and water heaters both matter, but knowing which one matters more to you comes down to what you expect from your home's heating system. That's the clear, practical difference. Choose accordingly. <laughs>